this is Mr. T with a, a tutorial on exponential functions. And a situation that uses exponential functions is something where there's a repeated increase and decrease on a yearly or daily basis, on a regular basis. Uh, many different real-world phenomena can be modeled like that as we've discussed in class. Our model for exponential functions is shown here at the top y equals or f of x equals a b to the x. Now you can read the details in here we've talked about, but a is the initial amount and b is either a growth or decay factor. If b is bigger than 1, it's an exponential growth problem, and when b is a fraction, it is an exponential decay problem. When we create a model or an equation for an exponential uh, decay or growth problem, one of the va values we have to figure out is b, our growth or decay factor. And we'll use some examples here. If the factor words are given as doubles, then b is going to be 2, because you would be multiplying by 2 every triples is going to be 3. When it's a percent increase, we've got to use the formula 1 plus the r, where r is the percent in decimal. So for 20%, 20% in decimal is 0.2, so our value of B here would be 1.2. 5% in decimal is 0 0.05, so if we add 1 to that, we get 1.05. 4% decreases. We have to use the formula 1 minus R for our value for B. So here for 25%, which would be 0.25 as decimal, we get 1 minus 0.25, which is 0.75. 3% is 0 0.03, so we get 1 minus 0 0.03, which is 0.97 would be our B value. And I skipped up here, cutting something in half, our B is going to be the number 1 half. So let's use uh, our exponential growth model and decay model for two sample problems here. Here we use inflation of college tuition, so that's an exponential growth. We can see here that our current cost for a state university is 10908 That's going to be our value of A. And we're increasing at 8% per year. So that means from the last slide our B will be 1.08. And we are per year, so our time variable will be in years. So our model would be, say, T for tuition is going to be 10,908 times 1.08 to the T power, where T is the number of years. If we calculate that for two years by putting 2 in for the T, we come up with 12,000. Seven hundred and twenty-three dollars and seven uh, nine cents. So in two years, that's our estimated cost. If we put twenty-five years in, so we're going to put twenty-five in for T, we get a staggering amount, which is seventy-four thousand seven hundred and three dollars and seventeen cents. So if the cost of tuition keeps increasing at this rate, you're going to have uh, a real challenge ahead of you to try to fund your. Uh, your children's uh, college education in the future. Let's look at an exponential decay situation. Things that you buy, like cars, lose value as you own them. So the older they get, the less they're worth. So that's a value of decay. So here we have a percent decrease. So remember from our last discussion, our value for B is going to be that expression, which is 0.78. This is our A, so our model for the value of the car will be 32,000 times 0.78 to the T, the age of the car. And if we put 5 in for that and calculate, we've got 32,000 times 0.78, sorry for the handwriting, to the fifth power. And that comes out to be $9,238.96. If you plot this out for various years, you'll find that the value of your shiny new car decreases pretty rapidly during the first four or five years. I hope this helps. Thank you.